we are going to set up the source build in our Mac. So first you go to the Epic GitHub. So there you find all the resource which is provided by Epic Game. Open the Unreal Engine branch and once you are it's kind of like repository so then go to the tag version of engine so then we'll choose for 5.4.4 so the tag is more stable and it's kind of like a hot fix version and the release is basically the core like 5.0 5.2 like that okay but there's a, instead of that there's a 5.4.4 so those are hot fix now extract that once you downloaded it so once you download it, it will take a while to download so just be patient so once it's you know extracting the file then open the folder then in here you will need to do to just go to your terminal and you need to drag and drop your setup dot sh okay you can uh, write down manually but uh, it says to just drag and drop the file it will automatically pick the file allocation for you and just run and now wait until the download complete so it will be going to be download all your setup files that you need so once it's done then you need to drag and drop your generated project.sh which is the uh, another file to generate your x codes and others as well so you can then give a build your engine so it's also going to take just a one to two minutes timeline then it will be done then you are able to get the xcode file so you can see that it's generating so kind of like that uh in windows version it's probably give you the sln files but in x in mac we need xcode because there's a no more visual studio support such here that's why that is a problem as well so yeah now let's wait until this thing then and you can see that it's done as well already so now what you need to do just open that ue5 mac xcode workspace so you need to just open it with your xcode i'm using the lastest default one so just now wait your xcode loading now we need to do some configuration by default it will give you some error so you have to just ignore them or you can clear them actually so yeah you can just clear the logs and then simply go to set up in this thing because this is a hilarious stuff like i don't know even know why it was coming as well okay so now first what we're going to do we are going to set up some so first we'll be choose our mac os version and then we'll be choose our the project format xcode using we are going to use this one which is lastest and we are going to go to the product then we are going to go to the build now before build i want to clear the log so let's clear the log and then let's give it a build so then it will take a but before that let's uh, choose this and make sure that your uh, this man is on your unreal engine editor because some of cases it choose in unreal engine game so unreal engine editor and unreal engine game is different you have to know that and then because i don't know why the mac gift terms of kind of like this thing so then we'll be give a build because after that build it will be probably to be if you are using m2 okay which i'm using i'm officially using the m2 one uh, mac mini m2 so yeah after that the build you can see it will take probably one to two hours uh, highest three hours and you can see once the build fine you can see like there's no error maybe you see some warnings but it doesn't matter but yeah then open the binaries dot net and then you find the mac so instead of the mac you find here on the top section the unreal engine editor just double click it and then you are see that your unreal engine will be pop up in a second so then you are you ready to go with your unreal engine editor now you can choose and type project or templates or whatever you want to do uh and yeah that's all to create your source build to your mac unreal engine and yeah even i don't know what i'm speaking okay <laughs> so what uh, okay so whatever uh i highly suggest you to always use updated engine version because it's give the less error because i don't know uh maybe i didn't spend too much time yet with my mac as well so maybe i don't know too much error or solution that i can uh say you like any alternative like how much i spend with my windows so i know that which is the alternative of that or that what i can do that if i'm facing this problem so the mac errors is for some new for me as well 
okay because i typically don't use too much mac until i need my ios build or kind of ios uh, test epic or test flight or if i want to upload the game in the app store so that's why so however uh i'll because i'm using now so let's see that uh what's error i will get more in the future i will try to give you the solution as well so i think this is a important video it was so that's why i shared so yeah thanks so much for watching see you next video